This is Roger with Wheel Kinetics in Tucson, Arizona. We're selling this Honda Pilot. It's a 2012 Honda Pilot. It's a 3.5 liter, liter V6. It's all-wheel drive. It's a touring package. It's got DVD, leather, rear air. Nice rig. Has 135,111 uh, miles. It was a new car dealer trade-in to the Big 2 Toyota Scion dealer of Chandler. Um, that's in Phoenix. Um, we bought it from them. We brought it here. Uh, my guys hand me this sweet SUV. Runs, drives, looks great. Uh, it needed a starter and detail. I guess the starter was just a little tired. So we did that and sent it to detail. And uh, it's back. I'm going to walk around this thing. I'll point at stuff that you might want to look at closer in the photo gallery. It's a good looking rig, but it's not perfect. Um, but uh, actually, it's a really good looking rig. Um, we will walk around it. I will fire it up. We'll go under the hood with the engine running. Um, I will show you the Carfax. I will show you the title. Um, everything that we know, you will know. We are not under the normal constraints that a new car dealer or, or big used uh, dealer has as far as uh, selling vehicles. Um, because we have so many people online seeing our vehicles, um, we don't have to sell a vehicle um, using BS. We can give people the truth. We can do this like you know obviously if you were to buy a touch-up you would take all these little door dings off the uh molding there's one right here too um so basically we can just tell you the truth we don't have to tell you things that you want to hear we can just tell you what it is right because there's 800 to a thousand people right now more than that seeing our vehicles every day um and uh someone out there will be happy with the vehicle exactly as it is with its flaws and everything um but what we can't have is telling somebody this is the greatest car ever doesn't have door dings doesn't have this everything's perfect and then they get it they ship it out to minnesota and it doesn't live up to what we said it was then we have drama that doesn't happen okay um that's how we roll we don't do that all right we'll start back here by the way, I saw this in the glove box. It's one of these little clips that goes in there. So I'm gonna have to snap that in. Really pretty car. I actually drove this back from Phoenix the other day and uh, had an excellent time. There was a wreck on I-10, so I spent about an hour and 10 minutes parked on I-10 listening to music and enjoying the air conditioning. Just a little scratch here and here, little tiny ones like that. The tires look like somebody put tires on it very recently. I mean, like, they're almost brand new. So you don't have to worry about tires. I would just buy a touch-up thing. I don't know. Obviously, they had a tight garage at their house. It's a beautiful car, except for the moldings. Put some freaking touch-up paint on all those little dings, and it's, like, brand new. I don't really understand why they traded it in like that. When they could spend $12, and it would look great. But that's what they did. All right, let's see. Ah. Low fuel. Of course they handed me a car with no gas in it. That's not unusual, is it? All right. Let's see. That's the uh, hood release right there. I think this requires a hood prop too, so I'm gonna be doing the one-handed thing here. All right. There you go. Just so you know, the starter goes right underneath where the battery is. Kind of had to dig in there to get that. Um, there's the stickers where you want them to be, so you know everything's original up here. There's the stickers up here. And it's looking good. And that hood is hot. I'm dropping it. It's 109, 110. It's a dry heat, so don't worry. I'll probably survive. Maybe. Freaking hot as hell today. The last couple days have sucked. Um, Carfax. Here's the Carfax, all-wheel drive, there's the VIN, no accidents reported, no damage reported, um, no major title problems, okay? So I was born in Peoria, uh, bu -bu -bu -bu, went to Sierra Vista, Sierra Vista is our military town, so it's probably military owned, which is why it's in such good shape, uh, and then it moved to Gilbert, Chandler. Ba, 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 ba. And there's where channel where they had it there. They took it in trade. And then they sold it to us. Okay. And then here's the title. It's in uh, the new car dealer's name. There's the VIN. 
It was issued to them 728 of 20. And they signed it off to Wheel Kinetics with 135, 111, big, big two Chandler, um, 86 of 20. All right. So there you go with that. Put that down there. You have all the uh, manuals and everything. That's that little piece that goes in the back of the third seat. I was wondering where that went. It came back from detail and it was sitting on the seat. Now I know, right? Bang. Let's see. Oh, you can't do locks. You can lock. They don't let you lock yourself out of Hondas. You got a thing here, right? Screen. Go like this to move the seat up, right? You have rear air, which is feeling really good right now. So I'm gonna get these open. Boom. Yeah, there you go. Temperature up, temperature down. You have a video up here. We don't have a video in it, but uh, we always tell people, by the way, when there's a video system in a vehicle, kind of like an, a radio, we're selling cars, not radios and TVs. Um, so uh, we uh, don't even demo them because A, we don't know how to operate them because we're car guys, not radio guys. And B, uh, it really doesn't matter. And if it does, matter to you a lot you need to go buy a brand new one there's some uh, headphones to go with it nice car really nice car and I know it's a nice car because I actually drove it I drove it 110 miles at 90 miles an hour until we got to Casa Grande and then it got real slow like we were stopped dump truck wrecked let's see what else mirrors out in up and down other side out in up down okay do you have a uh, tilt wheel which is right here okay seat forward back up down back tilt forward and back this is a nice car I really like these cars. I like them in general. It's just hard to buy them because they're just so expensive. Um, got a couple power outlets. Boom. Auxiliary power. There's a USB plug right there. Let's see. Yeah. Cup holders. Change thing. Little filler panel there. Let's see. Hold this thing to do it. Uh, obviously, we have. GPS here, navigation, right? All right, so there you go. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. What else? Radio. Channel, steering controls. There you go. Let's see. Oh, that was lights. Here's your brook. Man, it is hot, and it looks like it might rain in a couple hours because we're getting these big, big rain clouds over there. We need some monsoon. We've been getting cheated. All right, let me uh, turn that off so you can hear me. What else we got? We got boom, boom, info, map, cancel, audio, boom. There you go. Uh, you have a rear diff lock right here, button, right? Hit that, boom, boom, okay. Cruise control, that's right here. Cruise control off and on, right? All right, let's uh, go for a ride. All right, this vehicle, um, if you come here to drive it home, you will pay the following. First of all, you know what? One thing we need to do, I need to get that to go away. How do you do that? Where I can see the, hmm, let's see, mode. Mode, no. Hmm. There it is. Hang it. There it is. There's the mileage. 135, 235. I did that right here. 
See how I'm doing that? Trip computer, blah, tire pressures, custom settings, etc. That's from here. All right? All right. If you come to Tucson to drive it home, you're going to pay the following. You're going to pay your state tax rate, whatever that is, plus our city tax of 2.7% and a $250 dock fee. Okay? If you're going to pay by wire and ship out of state, all you're going to pay is agreed upon price and that's it. There'll be no tax. There'll be no dock fee. Uh, nothing. Just the price. Once we receive full payment by wire, we will fill out the title with your name or your company's name and address. We'll sign it off to you, scan it in your online file, and mail it to you. Even scan in the envelope, we mail it in. Everything is on the table as fast as we can possibly do it, okay? Um, you will have the uh, pilot uh, shipped to you. The title will already be in your mailbox before the shipper shows up with the pilot. Once it shows up, take the title you have in the mail, uh, got from the mailbox and the pilot to your motor vehicle and get plates. It's simple. If you need help with shipping, let us know early in the transaction. We can help. We can either do it for you. We can send you phone numbers to call. You can do it yourself. Uh, we can roll it into the price of the vehicle if you need help with uh, doing that with your loan, if you have a loan on the car. Um, whatever you need, okay? Um, but let us know early. Deposit is $500. Once we have a deposit, we have a deal. Until then, it will stay for sale. So please make sure you get that deposit in. Last part of every video, I say the same thing every single time. I want to turn the map back on. Let's turn the map on there. Boom. There, it's better with the map there. Um, see the storm here? That's east of us. Usually it has to come from the south, which is that way. Anyway, um, uh, ugh, the last part of every video, I say this. We don't have salesmen. We don't have bottled water with our name on it. We don't have a lounge to kick it in and have our an attendant serve scones and lattes. They got all that crap a mile east of here. And for that privilege, you can pay 30 or 40% more to pay for all that crap. But it's nice for about two hours, all right? Um, they also know at the auto mall that if uh, you, they sold you this car and it broke, you bring it in and say, fix it. So they charge an extra five or $600 for future repairs. It's getting pretty bad in the south too. We might get some rain. Um, Basically, uh, they're adding probably three to five thousand dollars more to the price of the vehicle for that stuff. Uh, future repairs, lattes, salesmen, location, bottled water, snacks, game rooms. All right, we don't have any of that. So you're not paying for it. All right. Uh, we also are not fixing your car. This is a fantastic car. We fixed a starter that probably didn't need to be fixed today but it was just a little slow and we thought, you know what? Let's just make sure, right? $170 uh, starter. My guy was pissed because it was not in your normal starter place. If you want to replace a starter, which is probably why it wasn't replaced because it's a pain in the butt, but it is replaced and now it's fine. Um, but other than that, we didn't have to do a thing, but we want people to know we are not writing checks for anything from the minute you buy this vehicle on. You are the owner, okay? If you think that you're gonna need a check, uh, if you get mad because the vehicle shows up in Minneapolis or Billings or the Caribbean, we've had a couple go to the Caribbean lately. Um, if you're gonna be pissed, if a window motor decides not to work or a radio decides to take a crap or whatever, and you're gonna wanna check, then you shouldn't buy anything from us because we don't have anything that we say that on. Everything, we say the same thing. You're the owner on day one. No one gets car faxes, no one gets titles, no one gets the video, no one gets the photo gallery, no one gets the crit critical uh, uh, opinion like you do with us, okay? Because we want the right person to buy the car. But you just gotta know how this operates so there's no drama, all right? Anyway, it's a beautiful car, really nice car. Smart payments as low as 205 per month. Means he just went away. Yeah, really pretty car. Anyway, thank you for your time.